go by real quick. <laughs> All right, super stoked for this one, guys. So again, following along on the GR's journey, we're back. Today we're at Art of Assembly. We got our boy Vince and Roman inside. Also, we have my mechanic, Adrian. And today is the dyno day, dude. So super excited, hoping to put some numbers down. Uh, but yeah, dude, let's go check out Art of Assembly. Give it up, check this car on the dyno. Basically, the cool news is Tito can cut out anything that we don't want in this <laughs> so yeah. don't worry about it. Let's do this thing. All right, so we made it into Art of Assembly, obviously. Cars on the dyno. This is the man with the plan, Roman. How's it going, guys? And Roman's gonna break down very quickly what's been going on behind the scenes. So we've been on the phone, right? So it's like the radiator had a small leak that Adrian is now trying to fix. Yep. The AIM dash display, yep. cam inputs are still, how's that going? Uh, working on that still, traced through a couple of things, haven't been able to figure out exactly what it is yet, but we've got a couple of more things to try. And then you were mentioning something about the link ECUs, like having some issues when the car gets warm. Yeah, um, so I I think something with the PDM is causing the fuel pump and water pump to shut off after the car gets very hot. So we're going to trace some of that stuff, make sure everything's grounded well, and double check that before we move on. Yeah. All right, cool. So we'll keep the day rolling, but uh, we're going to keep problem solving. We're at the right place to get all this stuff fixed. Let's see how the day goes. was telling me yesterday that there's a couple leaks in the radiator. He thought it was coming from these welds and I found that it's coming from the adapter fittings coming out of it. So these black fittings, they weren't completely tight. So tighten the fittings up just to make sure. And we're gonna try and run this car. I think we should be good now. All right, so we got Tony on the line who wired the car up for us. Yo. Tony. What up, man? Hey, how's it going, dude? We made it to the dyno. We got Adrian, Roman, and Tito in the house. <laughs> Yeah, dude. How you doing? I'm doing I'm, I'm, I'm right now. Nice, dude. Nice. Cool. Well, I'm gonna throw Roman on and let's chat about a few things. I want to just update you on like where we're at and what's been going on, and uh, see if we can talk through some stuff and grab your attention for a little bit today. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Roman, take it away, dude. Hey, Tony. What up, man? Hey. Uh, so yesterday, after like running the car for about 15-20 minutes, it would in intermittently fault out on the water pump, and then once you cycled through that and kept it running, it would fault out the fuel pump, and the car would shut off, and then it would just continue doing that while the car was hot. If you let it cool down a little bit, you could get another like 15-20 minutes out of it before it would start doing that again. So I don't know if there's something happening. I don't know if there's something happening on the PDM side, but it doesn't seem like it's an inrush current thing. It seems like it's something with the just static load of the pumps running. Yeah, we should need a log. We need a log. What's changing as if when it first fires up and then after it's running? All right, cool. So I guess we gotta log some. Yep. No problem. All right, dude. I'll talk with you guys soon. All right. All right, Tony. I'll talk. I'll call All you right. soon. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Let's do this. Roman's gonna hop in. Let's see what the car does.
quick little pull. Obviously, we're going through some issues, so we're not really able to tune it yet. But what, we almost just hit 450. Roman, break that down. That was just a super safe light. Yeah, just no timing, low boost. I'll tell you how much right now, one second. Seven pounds of boost. Only ran it to 6,400 RPM. So yeah, about 450 on seven pounds of boost with no timing yet. So yeah, we're still working through the issues with the fuel pump and the water pump before we can really like get some numbers out of this thing. What will this uh, the 900 series like stuff that we're running? How much boost are we gonna? Uh, so for probably for, let's say a thousand 900 horsepower, a thousand horsepower is probably gonna need 30, 32, maybe 35 pounds. Damn, we're just getting started. I'm glad you guys brought the wastegate springs, so we might have to change them. Yeah. We'll see what it makes, because the motor's so big, it's a 3.4. We'll see what it makes with these max stack, because this thing should be able to make like 22, 24 pounds with these springs. Max that out, see what it makes, and then make the call from there. But I think if we ran this out all the way to red line, it'd probably make like 475. So if it makes almost 500 on seven pounds, it might not even need that much boost to get to 900. Woo! That's crazy. There's two things that aren't working on the car. One, pump one on the fuel cell is not working. So I'm gonna swap the wiring on pump one to pump two and see if the consistency follows to where pump two will stop working. That way we know if it's a pump or if it's the wiring or the software. Um, and then I'm gonna take apart the water pump because it seems to be getting hot. I don't know if it has too much resistance from the improper adapter fittings that were on it. Now that I put the power fittings on it, I don't know if it's still as free. So we're just gonna swap over the pump and see if that fixes it to where uh, it won't get hot. But right now it's getting too hot and it's drawing a lot of resistance. So I'm gonna swap that out. All right, let's do that. We're gonna close this video out here, man. So time flies, the day's over. Thank you, Roman, thank you, Vince. So quick rundown. We made progress with the water pump. We still need to make progress with the fuel pump and get the dash to work. But other than that, we're gonna be driving this thing soon, man. We did a quick pull. We did seven pounds of boost. We had 450 horsepower already with no timing and barely any boost in the car. So the rad engine is happy. Other than that, gotta click a few more boxes to get some final dyno pulls. And then I finally get to drift this thing, dude. So uh, like I said, time flies. We're gonna end the video here. We'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching.